Star ADC completed. Big thanks to Mitsuru Yamada, sir, for the inspiration behind this project. His Hackaday website especially was extremely insightful, so I'll put a link in link to his website in the video description. This is the finished SAR ADC, capable of matching any input voltage you give through the potentiometer as a 7-bit value through the LED bar graph. The switch here is to toggle between manual and automatic. Right now it is in manual, so if I were to increase the voltage present on the pin connected to the potentiometer, the bar graph will count up accordingly and it can also count down. Now let's talk about how the entire thing works. Let's say we want to match 3.125 volts. First, there is a zero on the clear pin of the 74HC273, and as it's connected to the presets of all the D flip flops, those will be low as well, thus making the output, the Q, into one. Because all the Qs in the 74HC273 are low, as they've all been cleared, uh, making these gates have one low input. Thus, through N logic, the outputs of these will be low. Here's a refresh on N logic, should you need it. However, the top end has both inputs as high, thus outputting a high as well. From here, uh, through R to R resistor values, the resistance becomes uh, the, vo the final voltage becomes 2.5 volts, or half the supply voltage. Now, since 2.5 is less than 3.125, uh, this feedback becomes high, allowing pin one on the LM393 to be given a high, thus making the first D flip flop stay at one. Uh, for the next clock cycle, Q0 becomes high and uh, the second flip-flops Q value is 1, making the output 1. Now, the new voltage goes from 2.5 to 3.75. This is more than 3.125 that we're looking for, which causes the feedback to be low. Then, for the next clock signal, we have Q1 rise. Now, since there's a 0 from the feedback, the output becomes a 0, causing the AND gate to become a 1 and 0, making the output for the second bit, uh, second most significant bit, permanently a 0. The next rising edge, it causes this one to be a 1, making the input for this AND gate to be 1, resulting in a new voltage of 3.125 volts. This matches the voltage we wanted, and it's not, uh, and it's not more as well. So the rest of the flip-flops will keep going through, but each time it'll end up as a 0, because uh, the when, when you add those different voltages again and again, it'll always be more than what we want, the 3.125, so that will cause them uh, the other flip-flops to be low. So this essentially, so through this we can understand that the final binary voltage value would be 1010000. So to confirm this, this number in decimal is 80. So if we divide it by the max number of values possible, so uh, 7 bits, so 2 to the 7 or 128, and we, if we multiply that by the voltage range, which is 5 volts, we get 3.125, so thus the approximation is accurate. Finally, in the uh, final tick, we collect the data from the successive approximation register and input them into another 74HC273 such that it can be displayed via LEDs. Here's a picture from my oscilloscope where you can clearly see the circuit honing in on the input voltage. Thanks for watching.